Hello everyone! This is Teacher V once again. Nasa week 3 na tayo, quarter 4, grade 8 mathematics. At ang lesson natin for today ay tungkol sa proving properties of parallel lines cut by a transversal. Anyway, may idea na kayo about parallel lines cut by a transversal. Kung wala pa, basahin nyo sa inyong mga learner's packet, yung mga samples na nandiyan. At ito naman ay itinuro na sa inyo nung kayo ay grade 7. And bago nga pala tayo mag-start, click mo na yung like button, share sa aklase, and huwag mong kalimutan na mag-subscribe sa channel ko kung bago ka palang. Now, once done, let's begin. So, ito yung ating first learning task. And ang given natin, A is parallel to B, cut by a transversal C. So, ito yung dalawang lines natin or parallel lines, line A and line B. And meron tayong transversal, okay, na C. We need to prove that angle 1, this angle, is congruent to angle 2. We already have the two column proof ko kumpletuhin na lang natin. So, sa first statement, we have A is parallel to B. Anong reason natin dyan? Of course, ang reason, ito yung favorite natin palagi, yung given. Okay? So, given siya. Yun yung given natin. So, ilagay lang natin, given. The next, nakalagay dito naman sa reason, corresponding angles postulate. So, ano ba yung corresponding angles dito sa mga lines natin? Ang corresponding angles dyan ay yung angle 1 and angle 3. Isang interior and isang exterior. And we already know that corresponding angles are congruent. Then we have this given. Angle 3 is congruent to angle 2. So angle 3 congruent daw sa angle 2 pa X. Anong reason natin dyan? Ang theorem na involved naman dyan is... Yung vertical angle theorem. And it states that vertical angles are congruent. So kapag meron tayong vertical angles, congruent sila. So we can say that this angles, angle 3 and angle 2, are congruent. And lastly, pwede na natin gamitin itong ating pinuprove na angle 1 and angle 2 since na-prove na natin or nagamit na natin lahat ng mga angles na given. And i-prove na natin or gamitin na natin yung angle 1 and angle 2. So, angle 1 is congruent to angle 4 and the reason natin dyan is the transitive property of congruence. Next, let's proceed to another learning task. Learning task number 2. Line HO and line PE are parallel to one another and it is perpendicular or they are perpendicular to line FA. So, when we say perpendicular, nakakabuo ng 90 degree angle. And ayun yung ating given. And we're going to prove if the measurement of angle 3 plus the measurement of angle 5 is 180. So, pag pinag-add natin yung angle nitong dalawa, 180 daw. So, how are we going to prove it? So, meron ng mga reasons and may mga statements na binigay na all we need to do is to fill in yung mga blank. So, let's say dito sa reason, given. Anong ilalagay natin sa statement natin? So, tingin tayo ngayon sa given. Ang given natin is, HO, or line HO and line PE are perpendicular to FA. So, dahil yun yung ating given. Then, yung measurement daw ng angle 1, and the measurement of angle 3, pag in mo daw, that is equal to 180. Anong theorem ang sumusuporta dito sa statement na to? So, ito yung tinatawag nating linear pair theorem. Yung dalawang lines natin, nag-intersect sila, nakagbuo ng 180. That is what we call the linear pair theorem. And, pag sinabi namang corresponding angles postulates, eh, di hanapin natin yung mga corresponding angles. So, piliin na lang natin kahit itong side na to. We can say that angle 1 and angle 5 is congruent kasi corresponding angles. And that's, of course, angle 3 and angle 7 also are congruent. And the reason is that corresponding angles are congruent according to the corresponding angles postulate. Of course, sa last part, kailangan na ilagay na natin yung pinuprove natin. And pwede na natin silang gamitin yung angle 3 and angle 5 since na-mention na natin sila dito sa mga naunang statements. We can now say that the measurement of angle 3 and angle 5, pag pinag-add natin sila, that is 
equivalent to 180. And of course, ang reason natin dyan is by substitution property of equality. So for the assimilation part, you need to write a two-column proof statement of parallel lines cut by a transversal. And just to give an examples as your guide in creating your own proving statement and reason. So ito yung po pwede nyong gamitin na proof or statement and then reason. So we have this lines, parallel lines that cut by a transversal which, which is the line M. And then a reason is given. And angle 3 and angle 7 are congruent because corresponding angles are congruent. So that is what we call the corresponding angles postulate. Now, angle 7 and angle 6 are congruent also because of the vertical angle theorem. So, vertical angles are congruent according to the vertical angle theorem. And angle 3 and angle 6 is the transitive property of congruence. Okay, so this is just an example. You can create your own two-column proof if you want. So, now let's proceed to assessment. So, line M is parallel to E. And it was cut by a transversal T. So, ito yung dalawang lines natin, M and E. Then, ito yung ating transversal na T. And we need to prove that angle 1 is congruent to angle 8. So, these are the statements. So, almost given na yung statements. and dito na lahat. Ang ipoprovide na lang natin is yung mga reasons. So, for number 1, of course, given na yan. Ito yung pinakamadali. Number 1, naging given ang sagot sa reason. And then next, yung angle 1 and angle 6. So, i-compare natin yung angle 1 and angle 6. So, anong theorem ang pwede natin gamitin dito? They are congruent, angle 1 and angle 6. So, this is what we call the vertical angles theorem. Yun yung pwede natin gawing reason. Kaya sila ay congruent. And yung angle 1 is congruent to angle 6. So, that is the definition of congruence dahil nga sa vertical angle theorem. Then next, I compare naman natin yung angle 6 and angle 8. So, angle 6 and angle 8, anong theorem ang pwede natin ilagay dyan? Ayan, yung corresponding angles postulate or yung corresponding angles are congruent. Then, yung the measurement of the angle 6 is congruent to the measurement of angle 8. So, definition of congruence yung ilalagay natin dahil nga dito sa ating corresponding angles postulate. And lastly, transitive property of congruence, edi eh lagay na natin yung pinuprove natin na angle 1 or the measurement of angle 1 is congruent to the measurement of angle 8. Ayan, tapos na natin yung week 3. I hope na napadali yung pag-aaralin nyo sa mathematics. Basta kailangan lang alam niyo yung mga vertical angle theorem, corresponding angle postulate, yan, substitution, transitive property. Yun yung usually kailangan nyo malaman or gamitin sa mga reasons. And that's it. Huwag mong kalimutan na ishare to sa iba. Tulungan mo rin yung iba para matuto sa math. And at the same time, lagi nating mahalin at itry nating pag-aralan ang mathematics although minsan mahirap siya. Pero kakayanin niyo yan, lalo na kung gusto niyo matuto at willing kayo at masikap sa pag-aaral niyo. This is Teacher V. Follow me also on my Facebook page, V Teach Channel. See you again. Bye-bye!